I know, bro. I really think she might be the one. Like, she got the same exact energy as me. Like, I really think she might. Hold on, let me call you back real quick. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Welcome to the PC shop. Okay. Okay, okay, I got you. What are you trying to look for today? Okay, you trying to make a new PC. What type of PC you trying to make? A gaming PC. All right. Let me, let me take some notes real quick, and we'll get you on your way. All right. Is this like a budget friendly? It doesn't matter. You don't care about the price. Okay, budget friendly, budget friendly. I got you. Not all of us are rich, are you? Know what I'm saying? I get you. Alright, so is this like a cut? Like, what type of uh, customizations would you like? Okay, all white, all white. That's pretty cool. Alright, last question is Are you building a PC yourself or you want us to build it for you? Okay, you want us to build it for you. Okay. Now I'm letting you know right now it's gonna be extra charge for us to build it, but if you sign up to our subscription today, you get a discount on your first PC build. Would you like to do that? Okay, you would, alrighty, alrighty. Perfect, perfect. Alrighty, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all the components that are gonna match the description of what you need. And I'm basically gonna teach you some things along the way as we build the PC. Okay, perfect, so let me just get started with that real quick. This right here is a very budget friendly motherboard right here. It's from Aorus. Kind of Aorus? I don't know how to say it, but they make pretty budget friendly motherboards. And basically, what a motherboard is, it basically is a house for all your components, it houses everything. just in case some problems got to pop up and also comes with this um i forgot what's called but it's basically like a shield from like electricity and stuff like that so when you put it on the back of your case it basically just protects the motherboard but yeah very common too is that a lot of electrical components like the motherboard and the GPU which I'm gonna bring up later comes in these special bags are called um, electro or electrostatic bags or static bags it basically keeps away the static so it doesn't destroy your stuff let me just open this real quick practice to keep it on the you know the, the bag itself so you know anything that's like electro electricity or anything in there that's like electricity it basically protects it but it doesn't really it just doesn't matter but it's best practice all right so let me see here okay this will do this will do so we're doing all white pc we have these special things called ram and they come in the color you desire. Now, before we get into the RAM, as you can see, hold on, let me show you real quick. This little cube right here, this is your CPU. Now, this uh, motherboard came already with a CPU on it, so there's no worries about, you know, installing it. But be cautious, putting on the CPU is probably one of the hardest parts because if you mess up once, it's game over because there's little tiny pins on the back of this thing right here and if one of them gets bent then it's it's over 
and depending on how much you spent on the, the CPU, you basically lost the value of that CPU. Unless you somehow fix it. So just a little note there. Alrighty. Alright, back to the RAM. Now, what the RAM does is basically like temporary memory. You know, like, you know how like regular storage is like, um, gigabytes and terabytes of like regular storage like like movies and like music games stuff like that this is basically going to help you with like um like temporary space so like say you're on the chrome browser you basically it basically tells you how many tabs you can have open until it starts to mess up but the amount of tabs you can probably get with this is like more than necessary now this is a 16 gigabyte RAM and each of these are 8 gigabytes and they add up to 16. Now if you're looking forward to upgrading and you're looking to uh, start editing and like streaming like that um, it's it's probably best to upgrade to 32 gigabytes because the the software that you like edit on like uh, Premiere Pro require a lot more RAM. Alrighty, let's open this real quick. Now how it's supposed to be placed is. Sorry about that. There's a train literally right next to my crib. I mean my store. All right, so what is best to do is there's these four little slots. Each RAM goes into these slots. And depending on how many you have, um, so for me, it's for, for you, it's for two. Two slots are gonna be going through this. And it's best to separate them from each other. So let's just get this started with you real quick. So we're gonna put this on the first slot right here and use there's these two pins. I have to pull back these two tabs and use a line up. There's like this little tiny thing. You see where this right there? This little tiny divot right here. You're gonna basically line up that with what's on the board. As soon as you hear that click, that means it's in. Alrighty. Let's get this next one in. Alrighty. Now for the second one, you want to go a slot over. So you're skipping a slot. And that basically helps. It's called um, dual channeling, I think. It basically helps it keep it in sync, basically, with the other RAM stick. All right, so once you open these two tabs, once again, line up with these two slots right here. successfully install the RAM. All right. All right, so the next component, let me see here. I'm trying to see which ones would be the easiest for right now. Okay, so the next one, keeping up with the storage. Uh, let's take, okay, I think this will be enough storage. All right, so this right here is the PCIe Gen 3 X4 from Team Group and it has 512 gigabytes of storage. And there's three different types of storage devices. 
there's the SSD, there's a hard drive, and then there's the e I e EMV, I forgot what it was called. It's like a little, I don't see if you have down here. Um, but there's basically three, and the, um, the hard drive is basically moving parts going on. So there's like a little disc inside the, the, the hard drive case, and it spins around, and that's how that is made. And there's the SSD, which is kind of the same, but it's just uh, all digital. There's no moving parts, which is probably the best way to go about buying storage. And then you got these little things right here, which is going to be a lot faster. And when you first boot up your computer and you save your data onto this device, uh, through your, your boot up data, it's going to make it a lot faster to boot up your computer. And the same with like games and stuff like that for storage, it's gonna help you a lot with that. So let's get this installed real quick. specifically this motherboard it's the where you place this little device right here it's going to be where um right under where the gpu is going to be so let me see if i can show you real quick so this little uh, this not little but this long line right here this is where the gpu goes and right under it is where the ssd goes so just keep in mind with that all right let's just Open this real quick. All right. So now that we have this thing right here, as you can see, let's call and the SSD. So we're just gonna put this into this little slot right here. As you can see, there's like this little tiny thing right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little slot. That's basically what's going to go into this little compartment right here. And you slide that in. And then once you do that, you have this little metal uh, plate right here. And it's basically like, a, it's called a heat sink. And it has this thermal tape right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's thermal tape and it basically keeps it cool for in case it gets hot. So. But in most cases, it won't get hot because storage doesn't really require that much power. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to line it up with these right here. Put the screw in. And basically what the screw is going to do is going to hold it in place. screw back on because they're really just tiny little pieces you gotta deal with alrighty so once that we got that on now we're gonna move on to the cooling system so this is gonna be the device where it's gonna help cool off the CPU because the CPU gets really hot and you need something to cool it off so it doesn't overheat and turn off your computer so let me just find something. Let me see here. Not that one. No. Oh, this one. There we go. All right. So, by choice, we're going to use this heat sink. And as you can see, it's white. So, matches the whole vibe going on here. Now it comes with these 
little compartments here. Luckily, it did come with some thermal tape, um, just in case, like, you want to uh, replace the, the, uh, the CPU cooler. Um, you would need to reapply with this thing called thermal paste. And what thermal paste does, it basically, um, it helps, you know, ease in how the CPU cooler is laid on top of the, the CPU. Because if it was just metal on metal, then that would not be good. So we use thermal paste to help dis to dissipate um, the heat that's, you know, transferred onto the metal, to the metal. So, yeah. So this is the little thermal intake. And this thing right here is the fan. Just put this right here. Alrighty. Alrighty. So how we go about this is let me see real quick, like so. And I guess we have to screw it in somehow. Just take this right here. So we have each of these components right here. And as you can see, they label these, thankfully. So as you can see, it says EMD, which is the CPU we are using. And for uh, to keep in mind, the CPU we have here is a Ryzen 5. And this is the, basically the, the entry level for CPUs. Intel as well, we don't need that. This is the back plate. And the tiny screws, I'm pretty sure it's for the fan itself. And then lastly, we got thermal paste. Alrighty, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna put this cooler on top of the CPU. And you gotta make sure it lines perfectly with the screws, make sure the thermal paste is applied evenly throughout the whole entire surface. You don't wanna have any mishaps going on. So, okay. And it's best practice to uh, do a method called um, cross screw driving, where basically when you're screwing something in, uh, you go from one side of the, if there's four screws, you go from the bottom, say bottom left, and then you move to the top right. And that's basically what you do, you cross screw. So it gives like a nice even amount of pressure to when it goes, when it goes into the screw. Turn this around real quick. in there.
There we go. That's how you do it. All right. After. All right. So now, got that one side. I'm gonna take the other clip. Where is that thing? Oh, there we go. Take this other clip. We're gonna put on the other side right here. And flip it around like so. Put it onto that end and a little hole right here. And we're gonna basically just clip this to this part. Another side. Let me just make sure. Okay. Boom. Boom. There we go. We officially put on the case. Alrighty. Now, bear with me. I got a small workspace. Uh, you know, we, we ain't the biggest company yet, you know, when it comes to um, upgrading the, the areas and stuff, the work areas. So just bear with me here. Alrighty. So what we got here is a nice white PC case and it's going to match very well with uh, the whole idea of what you want. Um, comes with tempered glass. It also comes with two pre-installed PC fans. So that's pretty good. Yeah, let's get straight to the power supply. Alrighty. So this right here is a 650 watt power supply and this will do you just fine. Even when you upgrade your computer or, or CPU, GPU, stuff like that, it'll do just fine. Um, but when you want to start adding like um, video cards, like the uh, Elgato video card, which like kind of like takes, let's say like an Xbox, something like that, um, it basically takes the screen of that and makes a video feed of that through the PC. Stuff like that, when you add on different things, it kind of gets more um, power intensive. So you can like upgrade to like an A50 gold power supply. And how the ratings work is right now we have a bronze, which is the kind of the lower end area when it comes to power supplies, but it'll still do just fine. Um, it comes with like an eight year warranty. You'll, you'll get by with a, a bronze, but you know, you could always upgrade to a gold whenever you need to. Alrighty. Just take out everything real quick. Just a little pamphlet. Another pamphlet. This particular uh, power supply is um, not modular, which means that if you would have a modular power supply, so as you can see this little piece right here, this would be like a panel and each of these cables could be unattached or attached. But as you can see, it doesn't, it just goes straight through the, the whole thing. So for this case, since we're doing all white, just grab this for you what we have here is these sleeved cables and basically this is gonna make it look a lot more cleaner you don't have to see those black wires um, those like plasticky looking wires you got a nice braided cable going on just makes the PC look a lot better now since it's not modular we can just I specifically uh, chose these ones because it since it's not modular we're gonna have to attach it so and sometimes it could have issues uh, depending on which type of um, um, external brand like cables like these but I made sure I got the right ones for this type of power supply so yeah. let's open this real quick This is pretty sure the CPU cable. Let's actually 
install the power supply itself before we get to this. So, yeah, put this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna move to the back real quick. Cross method where it's just evenly placed. We don't have to strip any of our parts. going to be the motherboard cable as you see it's very a very large cable so can't miss it alrighty so we're just gonna plug this into the right slot just make sure these holes line up with each other Okay, perfect. Just plug this in. As you can hear the click. And there you go. We got the two main power sources. Alrighty, and then our last cable is going to be the GPU cable. And now that we got that done, we can actually move on to uh, installing the motherboard onto the case. So let's just turn this around real quick. actually take off the front case now. Boom. Boom, there we go. Just put this over here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just move this case and put it on its back. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place the motherboard into the case. So let's just do that real quick. Alrighty, so we're just gonna carefully just place this motherboard into here real quick. So, actually have all the wires configured into the motherboard. Now we're just gonna get straight to the GPU, which is probably like the fun part. So. So we are going to be using the 1060, which is made by Asus. As you can see, all right, let's install this there. All right, so we're going to install it right where it goes right here. Okay, so now what we're going to do now. There's like these little slots where you can see right here. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? So basically, what happened was is my audio decided to cut out out of nowhere. I'm I'm furious because I'm editing it right now, and I just realized I didn't record the audio right here. Toward the end of this video, like I was just very very tired. I just wanted to get this over with because I spent so long behind the scenes, behind the cuts, and everything trying to get this computer together. Um, I was just sleep deprived and I didn't realize I wasn't recording the audio, but, um, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just installing the GPU, um, this is the very last part of the step, and of course it didn't record the audio for the last part, um, 
Yeah, I just, I just really hate that, you know, I couldn't make a ending for the, the roleplay video. Like, this is my second roleplay made, I've made, and, you know, um, I definitely gotta get my acting skills a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I think I did pretty good towards the beginning, and then, like, the middle, I guess I did pretty good. But, like, of course, the end, the, the final bunch, I just couldn't finish with it. But, yeah, we're just getting this last component installed. As you can see, this is the, the first video back after two months of, you know, being a guy, aka, a guy, I don't, aka, I don't know, I don't know what but yeah, I've been gone for a minute, guys, um, you know, I could say that, like, oh, I was busy and everything, but I literally had the, the most amount of time I could to make videos, I just, um, I, sometimes, you know, people just get in these, like, these, um, moves where like they just don't feel like doing anything it's a, it's a very bad mindset i had for a couple of months i was sick you know during the time i was sick i couldn't make the videos but you know i just wasn't there in the mind right now or right right then um you know i was just working and doing school and by the way in my school i finally finished my statistic class that is the most bullshit class ever anybody who's taking statistics statistics i really hope you guys ace it get over with it unless you like that shit or like that stuff my bad i cussed uh, but yeah that's what i've been doing just school and work um i do want to make my next video uh, these next few videos uh one of them gotta be you know just triggers and just like just talking you know gotta update y'all what's going on with my life and stuff but yeah uh it's the last part right here. Basically, we just uh, turned on the PC and got everything done and over with. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys have a great, wonderful night, day, whatever day you guys are watching this video on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch y'all.